Hi guys, in this video we'll be showing you how to set up some automations. Okay, so first of all we want to go into our Connect Smart Home app and in the bottom here we've got an icon that says Smart, so you just want to go into that. Now you've got a couple of options, Tap to Run and Automation. Now Tap to Run is the same as the Scenarios video which I've covered. Okay, so please watch that video if you're interested in setting up Scenarios or Tap to Run. Okay, so in this one we'll be tackling automations. Now the difference between the two is uh, scenarios or tap to run is something where you would tap an icon or you would say a spoken command to execute it. Whereas automation is something that you can set up to uh, have the devices execute on their own based on uh, certain criteria being met. Okay, so... First of all, you want to have a couple of devices already set up. Okay, so in my instance, I'm going to be using a motion sensor, which is this little device here, and a switch. Okay, so quite simply, what I'll be doing is um, if the motion sensor is triggered, I want something in the house to turn on. Okay, so um, this is good for security purposes, so if you've got um, people lurking around the house uh, when you're not at home. It's good to sort of turn on a radio, some lights, a TV, anything that sort of shows that there's some signs of life inside the house which may deter some burglars. Okay, so that's just a basic um, idea. You can obviously set up, uh, you know, any type of scenario that you'd like. So um, in this one, we're just going to cover some basic stuff. So, okay, so with my motion sensor... Let's just go in there. I just want to make sure that I've got, you know, my alarm uh, turned on. Okay, so that I'm getting notifications. Okay, and that's about it. With the switch, I don't really need to um, set up any of the uh, any of the settings. But if you can see here, if you have a look at this switch, um, you can quite simply just turn that on and off. And with my motion sensor, if I trigger some sort of motion in front of it, I should get an alert on my phone letting me know that's happened. Okay, so now we know that those two things work. Just going to quite simply plug a, an alarm clock or radio into my switch there. Okay. And we can just test that. Okay, very simple. Okay, so let's go into Smart, Automation, and then we click the little plus icon in the top. Now, here you've got a couple of options. Obviously, you can set up whatever you like, but let's just go to Status Changes at the bottom here. Okay, so let's go into our Motion Sensor, and Motion Sensor Alarm. Okay, so what that is, is the alarm, when that's triggered, what do you want to happen? Okay, so we can run a device. So here we've got our switch and we can set that to on. Save. Now, when this motion sensor triggers that switch, it will turn on. Now, you probably don't want that to stay on the whole time. So you can go into countdown and select how long you want it to stay on for. Obviously, if someone's lurking around your house, you probably want to keep that on for a few minutes. But for just for these demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make it uh, 10 seconds. Okay. So that's all set up. And we just click Next. Okay, so we can see all our settings are done. So you can actually choose an effective period where this... Um, this automation is actually on for, but for this one we want to probably keep it on every day. Um, you know, you could you could change it so that it's only on during you know your your the times you're at work. Okay, so you can change all of that here. You can change the days, you know, the time. Um, okay, so you can see here. Alrighty, and then at the bottom here you can repeat. So Saturday, Sunday, you probably want to turn that off. Okay, 
So let's just go back. So I'm just going to leave mine as all day. And the style, don't really need to worry about that. That's just, you can group it into a color. So that's it. Let's just click save. And automation cred, start using it. Yes. Okay. So quite simply, you can turn automations on and off from here. So if you wanted to set it up for all day and just activate it when you leave the house, that's fine. Okay, so here we've got it activated and ready. Now, if we go into smart, we can see that under our automation, that that's there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and trigger that. So, oh, I'll just let that turn off in a few seconds. Okay, so that was the 10 seconds, it will automatically turned off. Okay, so as you can see, that works perfectly. Uh, when the motion sensor is triggered, that switch comes on, and whatever's plugged into, into that switch will turn on for 10 seconds. Alrighty. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is set up another couple of devices just so you can get an idea of some different scenarios that you can use. Okay, and some of the other devices that was, that was obviously compatible with this. Okay, here we are with another couple of devices. Okay, we've got our smart video doorbell and one of our smart RGB lights plugged in here. Okay, let's go back into the Connect Smart Home. And quickly check both of these are working. Okay, video feed. Okay, so that's all good. Now let's go into smart, automation, and let's add another. Okay, so again, we go to change status of the device. So we can have it so that when the doorbell is pressed, the light turns on. Okay, you can have it so that the motion detection also turns it on, but let's just set up the doorbell. Okay, so let's choose the device to run. We select our RGB light bulb, turn it on, save. You can change some of these other features there, brightness, color temperature, etc. But I'll just leave it as the default. Click next. As you can see that's all saved. It's effective all day so for something like this you'd probably want to set it so you know to the later hours okay so we'll just pretend that this is um, you know one of those later hours so let's just see up here so we've got 12 57 p.m. so we can make it so that it's between 12 and uh, 1 Okay, so between 12 and 1. So we just go ahead and confirm that. That's select set for every day. Okay, so it's 12, between 12 and 1 and repeat every day. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select next. And we can select save. Automation created, start using it. Yes. Okay, so that's all set up, ready to go. Now let's go ahead and press the doorbell. Okay, the doorbell has started ringing on our phone. Okay, and you can see the light was activated from that. Now, if we look at the time here, 12.59, just turn that light off. Now, if we go back into our smart scenario, we can see that that time was set between 12 and 1. Okay, so if we go back and 
press the doorbell again, that light will not turn on. So as you can see that light failed to turn on during that scheduled time. So if you want to set up a light to turn on with that doorbell you can see that works and it works with the um, specific times. Okay so another scenario that you might want to set up let's go back into our smart automation and now let's set up a schedule okay so we can see here between 102 uh, we want this light to turn on switch on save next effective period all day save so this would be if you wanted to leave like a, a night light or a safety light or something like that on okay so we can see the time is 101 and that's scheduled to come on at 102 but we were obviously going to want to turn that off at some point as well so let's just set up another schedule okay and that'll turn off at 103 so as you can see 102 our lights turned on from our previous schedule and 103 we want it to turn off run the device select the RGB bulb and this time we want to select off okay next and save automation credits start using it yes so Every day at 1.02 p.m. this light turns on and every day at 1.03 p.m. this light turns on. Okay, so for your needs you'd obviously, you know, structure that around what times you would need it. Okay, so let's just wait. 1.03 on the phone now. And the light's turned off. Okay, so the little bit of delay that you guys are witnessing is really to do with the network, okay, because this app has to communicate to that light, and then that light create, communicates back to the app, and then that information gets sent over the network, which is Wi-Fi, over the internet, basically. Okay, so just keep in mind that there is a tiny uh, time delay when you're doing all this stuff over a network, and obviously your network environment will affect that as well. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of functionality there. You can set up a whole range of different devices, however you like. Okay, guys, check it out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.